Hello Taurus! Welcome to your reading for the second half of April 15th to the 31st. Thank you so much for joining me. We are moving into our season, y'all. Taurus is my sun sign. My birthday is in May, May 6th, so I am super excited. Um, yeah, I hope you guys uh, have a great birthday season and it's filled with all kinds of wonderful positive and fun things for you yeah so we're gonna get into this this is your general reading okay a general reading so please keep in mind to take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't I am available for personal readings all of the the, the information for the readings is in the description box below please understand that I do a lot of twin flame guiding but my readings are open to anyone and everyone to any sort of situation that you may find your yourself puzzled by okay so you can take any of the readings that I have down there and apply it in some way to whatever issue you would like to learn more about okie dokie okie dokie so let's get into this spirit please make me a clear channel for all Taurans Sun Moon rising and Venus please bring forward the best messages for Taurus for this period of April 15th to the 31st Thank you so much, Spirit. Yeah, here we go, Taurus. Taurus. Um, I add. I am adding Venus signs into these readings, so there are. There could be some relationship aspects that come forward. Just want to throw that out there. But here we go. One last shuffle for Taurus. Let's cut the deck here. All right, Taurus, what do we got for you? Your overall energy here is the Seven of Wands. So you're kind of feeling a bit defensive right now. Um, you're, you're on guard. You have been going through something in which there has been a lot of, we'll say, public opinion around it, um, uh, opposing opinions. And you're getting to the point right now where you're just kind of you're 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 putting your stubborn um, aspects to good use here, and you're digging your heels in. You're saying, "No, I know who I am. I know what I want. I know I know what I'm going for." And y'all are not going to stop me. Period. <laughs> okay, that's uh, starting with your overall energy moving forward. Ooh, 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 ooh. We have the Queen of Cups. Um, this is good. Um, yes. Let, let me let me continue moving forward. We have the Two of Wands. And then we also have the Six of Swords, but it's in reverse. So there is a little bit of stagnation here. Um, and But this is why this is why you're standing your ground, um, because there is there's a lack of movement right now. Um, and I'm going to say it is kind of it is for a good reason. Now, with the Queen of Cups here, you're very much in an emotional state. Um, I do feel like this is you, Taurus. If it's not you, um, it's someone else that it, that is around you. Um, it could be a romantic partner that you recently got into a bit of a tiff with. Um, but ultimately, whoever this, this, uh, this symbolizes in the Queen of Cups, this individual is very much holding on to their emotions, not really, not really giving anything to the situation right now, and definitely standing their ground in relation to it. The two of wands is here is saying that, you know, there is a bit of a, a choice that needs to be made um, in a direction that needs to be taken. Okay. Um, as far as, you know, how to approach the situation at hand, whatever you're feeling defensive against or whatever you are defending. Um, but the way this is depicted right now with this person in the two of wands, they're kind of laying back. So in a, so in some sense, in some of you may have already chosen, you know what this, the, the path, you know, the, 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 the direction you need to go in. Um, so you're just kind of falling back in it right now. Like, it's like, okay, well, yeah, I know which way I want to go and I know the best way to get there. I just want to, I just want to fall back a little bit and stand my ground and maybe see what else develops. Maybe something else will come up and I might say, Ooh, actually, you know what? Let me go in this direction. Um, and the Six of Swords here is also lending to that. There really isn't much movement right now, but I don't see it as a bad thing. Um, I did say it was stagnation in the beginning. And yeah, it feels a little stagnant, but it's it's more of a pause um, than stagnation in most cases. In some cases, there is this stagnant energy that you've been in for some time, Taurus. But at the same time, it's like, well, whatever. 
I'm good. I'm chilling. Like you're very much, you're, you're very much looking like this guy right here. Like whatever. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just chill right now. I'm just gonna sit on this for a second. I'm gonna dig in my heels. I'm not gonna budge. I'm not gonna react. I'm not gonna respond. I'm not going to, I'm not gonna send any messages. I'm not going to tell you how I really feel about the situation right now because that could probably go a bit awry. We are coming out of Mercury in retrograde, and I know, you know, it it hit me pretty hard, but. I'm resonating with this. I'm standing my ground. And actually what I'm trying to decide right now is fall back a little bit and see if maybe there is a better way that we can get to where we're trying to go. Okay. Moving forward in the storyline for us, Taurans, we have the sun in reverse. Okay. With the five of cups. All right. So look, um, some of you Taurans are kind of falling back right now because you're looking back at the past at things that have gone wrong, uh, mistakes you may have made, mistakes that someone else may have made. And with the sun in reverse here, it may look bleak, but at the same time, it's not as bad as you think. All right. Um, the sun is still shining and you know, it's going to take, it may take a little bit of time for the clouds to part and the sun to come back out really. But at the same time, it's like, don't worry about it. You know, if you really must... If you really are feeling a need to take on this Five of Cups energy right now, that's okay. But don't look at the past um, in the sense of just keeping yourself in that mourning cycle or in that victim victimhood. Look at the past. If you must, look back at it. Look at it and try to illuminate things as much as possible. I'm also seeing the sun in reverse as a bit of a hangman situation in the sense that things are being illuminated, but you're looking at things in relation to the past and trying to get a different perspective, trying to understand things further, okay? Moving forward, Taurus, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So there's something that you're, you might be refusing to walk away from with the Six of Cups in reverse. So um, you're having a little bit of trouble this is what the stagnation is talking about. It's like you you want to walk away from a soulmate connection, but you really can't. Um, and it's not like I I mean yeah, there's some stubbornness involved. What I'm really what I'm really feeling pressed to say in this in relation to this is it's time to walk away from ways of viewing things. Okay, seeing things in a certain way. It's time to understand that. Yes, we do not have control over how other people react to us or the things that we say or do. But at the same time, the more you focus on that that reaction from someone that you don't like or that you find desirable, the more of it you're going to get. So that's what this Eight of Cups is really talking about. There's a soulmate here for you, Taurus, that uh, uh, whether it be a twin flame, a soulmate partner, a friend, family member, whatever... Maybe it could even be a job situation, but something that, is, that something that brings you deep emotional fulfillment. The more you focus on the uh, the undesirable aspects of this person, place, or situation, the more of it is going to show up in your reality. I mean, that's basic law of attraction right there. So some of this defensiveness is coming in the form of not wanting to let go of that, not wanting to walk away from this view when in reality you're really being asked to. Okay. And with the two of wands here, it's like you, you see that you honestly, you see that you're, that, um, you know, you're, you're really understanding how your thoughts manifest in your reality, but you're being a bit stubborn about it. You're like, well, I don't want to change my view. Why should I change my view of this? Why should I give this person the benefit of the doubt and change my view on them and see them in a higher light when they've shown me nothing but shit? Why? Because that's not what you want. That's not desirable. If it's not desirable, stop focusing on it, Taurus. I mean, in the beginning, I felt like this um, this Seven of Wands energy, the standing your ground, and 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 you know, I thought you were putting your stubbornness to good use. But in some cases, what I'm seeing now is no, you're just being plain old stubborn, and that's not going to benefit you here. It's 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 just it's only going to make things tougher for you, and it's only going to drag timelines out, okay? So let's just let go of that. Moving forward, we have, oh, the Empress. Mm, hey, boo. <laughs> With the Ten of Cups in reverse. So yeah, there are some divine feminines out there that have really been scarred. Um, this last Mercury in retrograde could have done that to you or for you. Um, and with the Ten of Cups in reverse, I'm seeing cups have spilt. I'm seeing now there is resistance towards... Um, 
you know, manifesting this ultimate fulfillment with this soulmate. I mean, the good thing about it is, is the up, the, the, the Empress is upright. So you're standing in your power, but with the 10 of cups here, I'm also seeing that you're, you're in a point where you're like, well, how the hell is this going to work out? How? I don't see it. And that's exactly the problem. You don't see it. The reason why you're not seeing it, Taurus, is because you're refusing to let go of um, the physical representation of what has been going on in your life. Instead of holding on to this expectation of whoever the, the Six of Cups represents here or whatever the Six of Cups represents here, the more you resist letting go of that current view of it and seeing it in a different way, the... The, the harder it's going to be for you to move forward with this. Yeah? So let it go. It's so interesting because I just did the Aries reading and my Aries is in Venus and my Taurus is, my son is in Taurus. And so there's resistance in both of us right now. Um, so if you, if you have Aries in your chart somehow, whether it be sun, moon, rising, or Venus, I would encourage you to watch that video. And it's so funny because for the Aries video, the Emperor showed up. Now the Emperor is the in the is the Zod is the uh, Aries card in the Tarot, but um, like say in my personal situation, the Aries is well, no, that's not true. But what I am saying is, Ari uh, um, the Emperor can speaks to the divine masculine. The the Empress speaks to the divine feminine. So then, like in the, in the sh in in twin flame relationships, we are moving through a situation where we're balancing both our our masculine and feminine energies and coming to terms with it and healing it. So like for me, in my situation, it makes sense that there would be resistance on both ends. We're both coming into balance here. But when it comes to like Taurus, my sun sign, I am and, and me being a divine feminine. I am absolutely holding on to my emotions. Now, I'm not I'm not completely clammed up. I am sharing certain things, um, but as far as like really letting that flow, nope. Nope. <laughs> um, okay, moving forward. We have the Ace of Swords in reverse with uh, the Seven of Pentacles. So yeah, there was some sort of communication or maybe there was some sort of um, inspiration, uh, uh, an aha moment, but it wasn't received well, either from you, you didn't receive it well, or this uh, whoever you shared or had this communication with, they didn't receive it well either. But with the Seven of Pentacles here, um, it's saying to us that, you know, illumination, greater illumination is happening, even if you, you were met with resistance. Um, people are really in this moment where they're starting to take their time to understand, to really come to terms with this uh, information that's come about, um, to understand their reaction towards the situation, to understand how they've come to this point in their lives where they are, you are experiencing whatever is being illuminated in your life by this Ace of Swords. Um, and the Seven of Pentacles is also speaking to why there is a bit of resistance or why there is a bit of closing off. Um, with the Queen of Pentacles, I'm sorry, with the Queen of Cups here, and the defensiveness, the guardedness that's coming through with the Seven of Wands. Um, this is mainly because you are working with, or you're working on understanding the fruits of the seeds that you've sown in the past, okay? Um, I am hearing a bit of procrastination. There are some Taurans out there that are being extra super stubborn in this time period, and are procrastinating. And that could be why the Ace of Swords is in reverse for you because this information is here. You've got the knowledge. Um, the aha moment has happened, but there's a little bit of brattiness to it. It's like, nah, I don't even, I don't want anything to do with that. Why should I give my energy to that? And it's like, come on, it's an, enough of that. Okay. You know exactly what you, where you are on your path. You know exactly what path you're walking and you know why, <laughs> hello, you know why things are happening the way they are. So it's time to just keep going. Let go of your pride and your ego and move forward, okay? Don't allow stagnation to take a hold. Or if it has already taken hold, work your ass off to get momentum going again. But understand that that momentum comes from you, Taurus. It comes from within, not from without. So don't get all pissed off because you don't see someone else making moves. Make your own damn moves. If you want something to happen in your life, change your vibration and take the action to do so, okay? 
Moving forward, we have, look, the star in reverse. And that came up for Aries also with the Hermit. Now, now, <laughs> with the Hermit and the star in reverse. The star in reverse is saying that the universe is coming through and trying to help you with this healing, okay? But you're in resistance to this healing for whatever reason. And I really feel like there's pride and ego getting in the way. You have to let go of that. It's time for you to, to go back within if you want to. Taurus, and this is something, this is guidance that's coming from the universe. If you feel like you want to spend the next two weeks from the 15th to the 31st just introspective, like hermit mode, like not going out, not really hanging out, not trying to really do anything, but have your, your nice little solitude in your cozy little space, do it, okay? Do it, but don't close off to the information or the inspiration or the messages that come through to you from your higher self, spirit, God, source, creator, divine, whatever you want to call it, okay? Allow the messages to come through and take this time to rest and allow the healing to happen, okay? Because ultimately, if I am feeling that is a good suggestion for Torrens right now for this time period, the 15th to the 31st. Just take a break, okay? Because a lot of, what you, a lot of this defensiveness that's happening is because you're feeling worn down and I don't want you to get all upset with me because I keep bringing up this stubborn attitude that's that's coming through here but you're being stubborn because you're kind of being hit from all different sides and so if that's the case you have every right to say I need a timeout I'm gonna go hibernate in my room for the next two weeks and like reconnect with myself heal a little bit let the Sun turn right side up so I can really see things from a new perspective and then you can emerge and be social and be friendly or reconnect with this soulmate or what whatever the situation take some time if you need the time take it please there's nothing wrong with it Moving forward, we have the King of Wands in reverse with Justice. All right, so um, um, bum, bum, bum. there is someone around you, Taurus, that very much embodies the King of Wands energy. Now, this could be, if you're a divine feminine, this could be your divine masculine. If you, Taurus, are a divine masculine, then this is talking about you. If you're not on a twin flame journey, there is someone around you that has been exhibiting King of Wands energy in reverse. So uh, promiscuous, um, uh, overly ambitious, um, manipulative, uh, shady, um, a player, incredibly charismatic, like manipulating people to get what they want out of them and then just be out without another word. It, whatever, however this resonates with you, this there's justice coming to this situation. I'm really seeing, I'm, I'm, as I hold this card, I'm literally seeing it being turned right side up with the influence of justice here, okay? And this is on a grand scale. This is on a spiritual level. This is on a soul, and look at that. We have it right underneath the Six of Cups. <clears throat> and we also have the Empress here, which speaks to the Divine Feminine. So there is, there, there is some justice that's happening I feel like Torrens that are the divine feminine, yeah, you're super defensive. You are holding, you're, you're standing in your unconditional love for your divine masculine, but you're holding on to that shit. You're, you're, you're being stubborn. And when it, when I'm tapping into the twin flame energy of the situation, this stubbornness is, is kind of warranted at this point. This is where the stubbornness is actually being put to good use because as divine feminines, we have been giving, giving, giving so, so much. But as things have transpired, you have come to the point where you're like, all right, all right, no, look, 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 y'all, look. I can finally stand in my empowered empress power in my unconditionally loving position, but that don't mean I have to give you a damn thing. Okay, because I've given you enough. You know, you know for a fact it is right here for you, waiting for you to just come about, pick it up, scoop it up, and be like, yep, this is mine, but you want to be a poo face about it. All right, cool. Be a poo face and let the universe iron it out for you because I ain't doing it anymore. That's where the stubbornness is coming into play. And to be honest, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to say this first be careful, don't go too far. Don't start, don't start swinging this sword around because you're feeling angsty or slighted or you just want to, you just want to get back. I, 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 I am going to finish that word. Okay. Retribution is not necessary here. 
So this could be what the Ace of Swords in Reverse is talking to you about. Instead of doing that, once you find yourself trying to, trying to get revenge, fall back and start start looking at things objectively, okay? Because ultimately you do you do know why things are happening the way they are, all right? Yes, sir. Moving forward, we have... <laughs> We've got the counterparts, y'all. We've got the King of Cups. This is such a good sign. Coupled with the devil. Okay. Um, this is not bad. Or at least it's not as bad as it seems. But um, whoever the King of Cups represents for you, this could be you, Divine, Mas uh, Divine Masculine or Taurus. Um, what's happening here is the King of Cups is looking at the devil and being like, how did I let you in here? Like, how did you get here? It could also be, it could also be someone standing in their King of Cups energy, but still being manipulated by the devil. Okay, still, still trying to come to terms with the, 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 the devilish energy that's around him or her. Okay, this doesn't have to be, this is not gender specific. Um, it is more about the energy. The King of Cups wants to come forward. The King of Cups wants to show their love and appreciation and their devotion and commitment, but the devil is still getting in their way somehow. And the devil is related to this King of Wands energy in reverse. But in that sense, we also have justice connected with the King of Wands in reverse. So it's like justice is handling this King of Wands energy in reverse while the King of Cups himself is facing the devil energy and literally saying, how the hell did you get here? And how, the, how do I get you out of here? Because you're not helping me at all. You are not benefiting me whatsoever. I am being guided to mention to some of you Taurans uh, that in going into your, your birthday season, there could, be a, um, there could be a propensity towards overindulgence. I've been feeling very indulgent lately in food and stuff. But, um, you know, don't party too hard. Okay, just be mindful, all right? Finally, in your story, Taurus, we have, oof, look, the King of Swords with the Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, so look, this is speaking to understanding. Look, Taurus, you know why things are happening the way they have, okay? And some of you are really analyzing, like maybe you took a step that, you know, you feel like is an Ace of Cups in reverse situation, but the King of Swords is saying to you, no, look again. Because ultimately the Ace of Cups is still here, okay? So there is, there's some resistance to it, um, but it's really, you know, it's really coming to terms. It's coming to terms with why things are the way they are. Um, my attention is being drawn back to the sun in reverse, which is asking, which is, a little bit of a hermit, not a hermit, um, a hanged man energy where it's seeing things from a different perspective. And the the King of Swords is really saying to you, you have to see this from a different perspective. Going back to those of you that I was saying, that I was speaking to about the Ace of Cups and the Six of Cups in reverse. Not the Ace, I'm sorry, the Eight. The Eight of Cups and the Six of Cups in reverse. It's like you're refusing to see this person or this situation in a different light and you are continuing to manifest this less than desirable situation when it comes to it. So the King of Swords is really starting, is really saying to you, take a step back and be as objective as possible. See your involvement in the situation. How have you helped perpetuate this situation? Yes, the King of Swords is saying, I understand that so-and-so did X, Y, and Z, but don't you see how your expectation of receiving X, Y, and Z has brought to you X, Y, and has brought X, Y, and Z to you? It's like, it's almost like the universe is coming through in this King of Swords and being like, and, and standing in front of you and just looking at you with this blank stare and you being like, yup, 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 I knew, I knew this, that, I knew, I see, I told you, I told, yeah. And the universe is saying to me, yeah, of course you knew that. Because that's what you tell me. That's what you were telling me. What you wanted. That's not what you want. Well, of course, that's not what I want. So why do you keep telling me it is what you want? I can only give to you what you what you tell me you want. I cannot. It is not. 
I am all powerful. I am the universe, but I cannot give you something you didn't already ask for. That's not my place. That would be going against free will, wouldn't it? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> There's that confirmation. It would be going against free will. So now it's time for you, Taurus, to really take that sword as objectively as possible and cut out all of the shit that keeps giving you back what you don't want. Because ultimately, you are the manifester here. I'm surprised the magician didn't come up. But hey, the message still came through. All right, Taurus. There it is. Look. Look. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it one more time. You are the only reason why that you are experiencing stagnation in your life. Why? Because you are the creator of your life. You are a co-creator, yes, but you will only receive that which you put out into the universe. So if you want love, if you want compassion, if you want just situations, then you need to put that vibration forward. The King of Cups is also saying this to you. The King of Cups is, is part of that message of looking at the devil and being like, how the hell did you get here? I didn't ask you to be here. Eh, you kind of did. So there is, a, there is a level of emotional maturity that needs to be um, acquired here. All right, Taurus. I love you guys. This was a little bit of a rough reading, but tough love sometimes gets the job done. And y'all know I'm not about to sugarcoat it. I'm about keeping it real. But what I do want to point out to you is we do have the counterparts here. We have the Queen of Cups and we have the King of Cups. In some situations, that is speaking to you, Taurus. In other situations, that is speaking to you and your uh, counter, your soulmate, uh, twin flame, or whatever, however it resonates with you, okay? All right. There it is, Taurus. Much love to you, and I will see you in May. Yeah? Take care. Bye.